Now I'm moving to my colleague, Tatiana Lukosevicina. She's my colleague from uh, Lithuanian DPO Association, uh, board member, a co-founder, and also a regulatory director at Delia Company. And she will host the remaining uh, part of the second session. So go on and good luck. Thank you, Ludas, for introducing me. And uh, it is great to be with all of you who are online. So we have uh, three more great speakers with us. And uh, let's, uh, let me uh, introduce our next speaker, Mr. Sadok Ben Yahia, who is a professor at Tallinn University of Technology, having the background in computer science. His research mainly focuses on data-driven approaches when it comes to real-time uh, data analytics. And Professor Sadok will present about real-time multilingual and multi-platform shield to detect a fake content on social media. When listening to that, uh, the one can ask uh, one main question. Okay, but how about uh, freedom of speech and freedom of, in on of information, right? And how to find the right balance? Uh, Professor Sadok actually promised to answer all these questions. So stay online and enjoy. And the microphone is yours, Professor. Thank you, Tatiana, for this nice introduction. And uh, I'm really grateful to the organizer for inviting me to for this invited talk. So today, as we kind of trying to soothe your mind and trying to, to bring this answer, um, we are really torn between this um, freedom of information and freedom of speech. So today we will see how we can manage to find the right answer for these uh, burning questions by, I would say, acting at three levels. The first level is what they call it this micro level, in that we are trying to understand what to detect this fake content. Then this is the, the macro level we would like to be able to detect um, who, which entity is spreading out this fake content. This is what we call the macro level. And then we are trying to, to go really very deep and to, to try to understand why. And why? This is the why question. Where is this plague is rooted, and why there is spreading of animals? So, if I slide, if I try my, I try to to go this slide. So, this, if you see these pictures, <clears throat> you can find there is really um, one word. It's common to all these pictures, which is troll. This troll farm. And unfortunately, this, um, all of these pictures, they are really reminding us of the sad news which are uh, this, re this week, and we are all standing with Ukraine. So one was wondering, but what is this troll farm? Actually, a troll farm factory is an entity conducting disinformation propaganda activities on the internet. But usually, this activity is, um, is often considered under and con, um, and conspicuous names. It can be, for example, public uh, relation agency, internet research. But why actually? Actually, the, the operation of the factories are usually focused on political or economy, economic sphere. And the aim of this operation may be attacking political opponents and fairly attacking a competing company and so on and so on. And it's clear, for example, with this uh, invasion, the Russian invasion to Ukraine, they seen that they already started months before with this campaign of misinformation. So last but not least, I would like to share what was the Prime Minister of Estonia to, today. When is she's um, sincere call to the big, big tech companies to 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 fight against war propaganda and disinformation. So today the key word is disinformation, and this was the topic that we would like to address in this talk. Okay, um, but say, let's try to understand before the technical issue that we may later discuss, but why, what's the point? Actually, social networking and media has come with immense benefits, but they can be used later to use to spread out misinformation, low quality news and fake news, okay? 
And um, we are really, as said by Tatiana, the question is that we are really torn between the freedom of information as, as citizens. I, I need to be understood, understood that it's my right to access accurate, fact-based and relevant information. On the same time as the citizens, it is this free speech, it is the freedom of citizens to be able to express and spread out facts and uh, in, uh, in free, free opinions through social media. So, but we need to keep in mind that the free speech is not absolute right, and it's bounded by that other boundaries which are hate speech, fake news. Okay. But um, what happened actually in the meantime? Actually, in the meantime, with this kind of repurposing of this OSNs to um, from Malaysia to, to oriented to to venue to a gainful channel of freedom of speech. And this channel was reaped by minorities and outcast groups, commonly disdained and silenced and conventional mediations. Sadly, this OSN connectivity and openness have been leveraged to spread a low and or uh, harmful material. Okay. Then um, what would be um, the thought after goals? The thought after goal that would like to how we can be of help in this, um, I would say in this war, okay, uh, without understanding the word. So we'd like to provide this kind of alert system through dashboard, which can to, to be able to uh, provide the right and timely information about suspicious news content through mobile apps. Would like to, to be able to build reliable detection system, which needs to be incremental building of artificial based uh, model using expert data data, and would like also to provide this intervention system that needs to be proactively means of actions. And in addition to that, once it is already, uh, we need to be able to react after that the fake content goes below. Okay. So um, what are the expected outcomes of any system that would like to, to, to develop? So this system would be able to identify most impactful types of misbehavior that can be possibly on purpose and emerging things. It should be near real time, robust and scalable technologies that needs to be used to detect these misbehaviors and address multimodality. It means that we need to be able to address not only fake news, but also fake text, videos, audio, images, and sometimes it can be mixed. And you're also tackling multiple platforms that can be, for example, Twitter, Reddit, Instagram, uh, Facebook, and so on. In addition to that, in order to build kind of bridge uh, that's as Kirsten was, uh, I think that's better known than me on that aspect, the explainable artificial. I mean that once you are explaining to the to the citizens why this 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 content is fake, and doing so would like to be able to use the cutting edge explainable artificial intelligence based, uh, and most importantly also that would like to to be able to provide and share multilingual databases. Okay, so um, this. This what we would like to do is this um, roadmap is done in three milestones, this journey. So the first one is what we'll call this local, this micro level. It would like to detect the, the fake content. It can be the tweet, this image, this image and video or text and video. This content is fake. Then we would like to, to be able to step back and, but my God, who is, um, spreading out this fake content. So that's why I led to, we are able to detect these bots, this uh, troll factory, which is the entity was emitting, spreading out. But after that, but would like to be able to understand what can be done at the social level. So it means that now we are leaving as a computer science, as data science, we are leaving my result of comfort. Uh, my, uh, comfort zone of comfort and trying to, to interact with social, uh, with colleagues from the social media, from social science, to understand why actually there is this uh, emergence and how we can fight 
this means translation from the roots. So what comes later, it's only kind of um, technical details for the implementation that I would um, not um, spend much time. But if I took, for example, this, this um, for example, here, what we are doing in terms of fake content, um, we are relying on this Apache Kafka, which is date, which is the platform, queuing platform in which we are, for example, um, listening and receiving all the, the fake content. So this fake, this content, as far as you arrive to Kafka, he is consumed by this fake news, which can be text. And he pushes back this um, decision about genuine or fake. And then this, we have dashboards and notification to the apps that can be sent to them to the end user. But in this fake news, we have also we have we are able to prediction there for taking fakes and uh, um, videos. So this at the level of the um, micro level. Then let's move to the, the second step. It's to be able to decide at the macro level who is doing. And would like to, to say that this online social account, this is a troll, this is a bot. So to do so, we are relying on no regard for presentation with the most of getting edge uh, machine or uh, deep learning task to be able to decide, take the right decision. Okay. Then we'll move to the milestone, which is brings, I would say, the interdisciplinary label to them to this project. And we would like to um, wa what makes people really vulnerable to the misinformation. And uh, thank you. I'm in time. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Professor Sadok. Uh, just a quick question about a practical application of the software or, or platform you have just described. Could you please give the audience at least several examples of that practical application? Uh, Tatiana, you do have a, a smartphone. And in your smartphone, you are receiving notification and the news. So the goal that would be would like to pro provide for you kind of shield, which seamlessly would protect you against this flood of fake news that you're really bombarded daily on the clock around. That means that, for example, you, I would say, um, um, I would like to receive in Lithuanian or in Latvian language, I would like to to have news from sport, uh, cuisine, or um, political issues. And this, this app, this shield will bring to, to your pocket as you are used to do seamlessly only trust and trustworthy and fact-checked news from all the multi-platform that you would like to to uh, you are user to to receive, so it's kind of shield that really protects you from this propaganda, from this misinformation, which is really the plague of this new era. Okay, it seems to be rather clear. Uh, thank you so much once again for joining us.